An 18-year-old Decatur man will spend the rest of his life in jail for shooting and killing a six-year-old boy. Mishawn Williams admits he fired 31 shots into a home last year, all because of a post on Instagram. Ryan Kruger has brand new information about the wild crime spree Williams was on right before he was caught. Crawl out! Crawl out! This is where Mishawn Williams' reign of chaos came to an end hiding in the woods after he crashed his car in a high-speed chase in Decatur. Williams hurt a lot of people in just a week's time, but nothing was worse than what he did to six-year-old Zamari Mitchell. We simply will not tolerate this type of violence. May 5th, 2018, Williams drives a group of girls to a home on Sweet Gum Lane in Decatur. The girls were allegedly upset with another teenage girl about a post on Instagram. The group attacked the girl in her front yard before her dad broke up the fight. As Williams was walking back to the car, he pulled out a gun and fired 31 times into the house. That one of which struck a child, struck a six-year-old child. Zamari was playing in the living room. He died at the hospital four days later. At six years old, that's, that's something you, no one wants to see. Um, it's just uncalled for. And for the first time, we've now learned that Williams tried running over a police officer just two days before the shooting. Williams, according to investigators, was driving a stolen car. A DeKalb County police officer had his gun drawn, tried stopping Williams, and that's when he rammed his car into the patrol unit several times before taking off. We want Williams to know that we're coming for him. Fast forward to a week later. Williams is on the run. He gets into a high-speed chase with police and crashes his car. He hides in the woods, but the cops track him down. And now, he'll spend the rest of his life in jail. And at the time of the shooting, police tell me that Williams was also a suspect in several car thefts. They are thankful tonight that he is off the streets. All right, Ryan, thank you.